MetaMask's new mobile swaps features allow users to swap tokens inside their wallets and is announcing over 1 billion in volume since its October launch. And monthly user activity on the cloud wallet has more than doubled in the last few months to over 2.5 million. Joining us now to discuss is MetaMask operations lead Jacob, Jacob Cantel. Welcome, Jacob. Thanks so much for having me, Christine. To have you here. All right, Jacob. So, MetaMask is a popular non custodial wallet, meaning you control your assets and data. Now, you've introduced token swaps. How does MetaMask make money? What, how do they, are they collecting fees? I'm interested about the business model here. Yeah, so um, th thanks, thanks so much for that intro. And um, uh, so, so, we have, uh, and, and you mentioned, uh, 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 two and a half million users. It's, it's actually two and a half million monthly active users um, that, uh, that we, we reached as of uh, February 28th. Uh, so, um, and, and we've been growing pretty substantially since that too. So uh, hopefully some other exciting things to share uh, soon. But so uh, in terms of, uh, of MetaMask, our, our view is to be the most universal and most interoperable wallet so we allow people to access all of Web3 in a totally permissionless way, similar to how a web browser works or something like that. Um, the very first way uh, that, yeah. does, Met, uh, that MetaMask was... The, the business model uh, work? Are you collecting yeah, fees yeah, from yeah. people? So, or? Yeah, so we don't collect any fee on, on transactions in, in the wallet. Uh, the very first feature that we did launch uh, that, that monetized the wallet was to help people purchase uh, crypto using using fiat assets. Uh, so there are on ramps that allow you to, to purchase your first crypto. And we also do charge an, a, a 0.875% uh, transaction fee on our swaps, uh, our swaps meta aggregator. So um, our, our swaps feature uh, is sort of similar to orbits for for decentralized exchange swaps. We bring uh, data in from from not only every DEX but also every DEX aggregator to ensure that users have the the easiest experience, um, the access to the to, to the most data, and can find uh, the best prices. And typically, we're able to save people um, more more than our own fee. That's what we try to do, at least. Speaking of fees, I imagine part of MetaMask's growth is tied to the NFT boom because it's a very popular wallet for, for working with NFTs. How big a problem are Ethereum gas fees uh, for, for your users? Because that's definitely become a, a bit of an obstruction to creating NFTs. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, we actually, a couple weeks ago, um, a little bit less than two weeks ago, rolled out a new API that allows uh, any uh, Web3 site to recommend a layer two network um, or a sidechain to users. So we're actually making it much easier for people to move on to layer two on onto networks like like Optimism or Arbitrum and, and some of the other layer twos that are that are in the process of launching. Um, we think that that's going to have a, a pretty positive impact on um, on gas prices and um, ensure that uh, people aren't priced out of this market. It's really critical that, you know, as, as gas prices are growing, uh, that, that um, you know, people, we have a lot of users in developing countries, for example, um, and many of them are, are being priced out by, by current gas prices, but um, there's, there's some great things coming to, to help with that. Jacob, any concerns that people are using NFTs to launder money or, or get money out of their countries? Um, are you doing any KYC, AML? Like, what are you guys doing to uh, to deal with that? Yeah, so MetaMask is just a MetaMask is more akin to a web browser. Um, it's just software, so we don't really have a whole lot of uh, you know we don't have control over the the sites that the user goes to. Um, uh, that that all happens on the client side with with the user themselves. Uh, with with uh, th there has been huge growth of NFTs, um, 
And the in in terms of the NFT market, you know, I think that that's up to Web three sites to to look into those questions. Real quick question: Does MetaMask have any plans to issue its own token? Um, it. Uh, we we don't have an immediate plan to to uh, to launch a token. Anyone who claims that there's a token launch on some date is uh, probably operating a scam. But is it on the roadmap? Is it on the roadmap? Is there a roadmap to launch a new token eventually? Nothing to announce at the moment. <laughs> Jacob, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you so much.